Welcome to the highlights of the first one day international between the Windies and Bangladesh in the IP ODI series powered by Minister, co sponsored by Marcel. A very intriguing series because uh, Bangladesh ranked higher than the Windies, and with a view to the World Cup coming up in 2019, this was a very, very important series to kick things off. Now, the pitch here at Providence has been one that has spun and turned in the past, and it looked a little bit damp at the start of play. The toss was won by Mushrafi Mortaza, the Bangladesh captain, and he elected to bat first. Just confirmation of uh, the teams, the Windies with Chris Gale and Evan Lewis at the top of uh, the order, Shea Hope and Shimron Hetmeyer, the local boy in. Alzari Joseph was back in West Indies colors after suffering a stress fracture of the back, along with Bishu nurse Russell Dre Russ back. And for Bangladesh, Tamim Iqbal, very, very important. Mushrafi Mortaza, a very, very good leader, was back in the fold in white ball cricket. Let's go straight to the top of the action where Jeffrey Dujon and Fazir Mohammed were waiting. We welcome you to Providence as the fans are coming in with a bit of anticipation, maybe with a bit of trepidation about the weather heavily overcast on this Sunday morning. Tamim Iqbal, look at that experience. The numbers overall over 6,000 runs, decent average, but it's the experience and the confidence that he brings to the Bangladesh team that makes a difference in the shorter forms of the game. Anamal Haq, just over 1,000 runs, and, and again, the numbers, sort of typical of Bangladesh cricket. You can see the ability, you can see the potential. and gone continuing from where he left off at Sabina Park just seems so easy now for Jason Holder very dangerous when he get, pitches the ball up Jason Holder and gets it to move and uh, this was just a classical outswinger pitched up and as it started to leave the bat Hack just pushed at it and Ashley Nurse did the rest. So the first wicket falls for Bangladesh. Animal Hack goes without scoring. It's one for one. Well, two of the big four are in the middle now for Bangladesh with the arrival of Shakib Al Hassan. Of the order at number three. Tremendous experience, tremendous contribution for Bangladesh cricket, but now relieved of the responsibilities of captaincy. Very good shot through the covers. Should be a boundary, it is. First boundary from the bat of uh, Tami McBall. This will be very welcome by Bangladesh and this pair. There have been 39 dot balls so far in the innings. So they're not getting boundaries. This is only the first boundary, as you heard. And they're not rotating. The strike. Second one. So Tammy McBall has obviously recognized that somehow they've got to get the scoreboard ticking over much more quickly. You're down the leg side, knowing that the fielder was inside the circle. That's a pretty good shot from Tammy McBall. Knew exactly where the fielders were. So back to back boundaries. Just flicks it away. One more. A very good over for Bangladesh. 13 in that over, 29 for one. We'll run away for four. 
Leg bar is given, but Bangladesh will take them any which way they come. Older drifting down the leg side. Off the path, and it's a boundary. Don't mind that at all. He's good at that. That's nice. Really nice from Shaquille. It's a shot he plays well. That tends to come down at that angle. He gets on top of this nicely. Just rolls the wrist and keeps it nicely down. Doesn't try to hit it very hard. Just uses the pace. That was hammered. Slow outfield or not, that's four. 19 overs gone, 72 for one. Nine wickets in hand. They should get more. And that's hammered away. That's going to be four. Short and put away. Avenger Bishu has that problem. And once or twice per over, he'll back pitch. And this one got the treatment. Oh, goes big, gets maximum to finish the 24th. It is 96 for one now. First six of the innings. Oh, yes, man. And that's 50. Important innings for Bangladesh. His 42nd in one day international cricket is third against the West Indies. And that brings the 26th over to an end at 103 for one. Made room to get the boundary to bring up his 50. As well, Shakib Al Hassan following in the pattern of Tammy McBall to end the over, 110 for one. Nice shot. And he's going for over five and over, which isn't too bad, but economy is not necessarily the only thing Jason Holder wants. Played that well, Shakib almost scooped it from under his feet. Tried to get him with the wider ball and it was well adjusted too by Tamim to finish the over. Getting a habit of ending the overs with boundaries, 120 for one. This could roll away even with the heavier outfield. Rodman Powell unable to stop it. Disappointed that he didn't put in a better effort. But it's four more. Yeah, with the field set in these middle overs for Alzari Joseph, mid off and mid on up, he can ill afford to pitch the ball up. And it happens with so many seamers, batsmen sitting back and waiting for that short of a length delivery. That's beautifully played, well timed. And uh, Fila can give the chase up now. A few Bangladeshi fans around. Lovely shot. Such a beautiful shot. Between uh, mid on and mid wicket. 148 for one. And that's what uh, Bangladesh needs. As I turn that away for another boundary. Brings up the 150. So boundaries coming in now. Uh, 
and this was just straight onto the pad slightly and nicely just flicked away with the wrist that's over the infield won't go all the way but they'll pick up two more Well, that was in the slot. Hammered over mid-off. Won't be doing it like that. That's a good chase, and they'll pick up two. Oh, it had to come, is it out? No, oh, you're kidding me! Got there! Yep, says it all. Hit my. Did all the hard work got there? It's one of those ones that hung nicely with a top edge. No, no, hit the top of the thumb. Providence, Shakib of all people. Oh, that's the basics of the game. more runs on a pitch that turned early this morning that'll be a worrying factor for the windies 187 for one remember when bangladesh beat south africa on this very ground good running in the 2007 world cup Tamim was a part of that, Mushrafi was a part of that, Shakib and Mushfiku were a part of that squad. They made 251 and restricted South Africa to 180. It's going full and straight, well run, 95 to Tamim. He's hit uh, six boundaries and 120 deliveries. In the air. Taken safely by Shimron Hetmeyer. So in looking to accelerate, finally, Shakib falls. No disgrace in that, but the Windies fans have something to celebrate. Finally, some aggression more from one of the most experienced in this Tigers lineup. And it was on. He's got a top edge, that's all, in terms of execution. And Hetmeyer, a good sliding, comfortable take in the end. It's the end of Shakib Alassane for 97. It is now 208 for two. First, there's the business of the 100, and there it is. Tommy McBall won the international century against the West Indies. Important innings after they lost that early wicket. Important partnership with Shakib Al Hassan, but they need to accelerate now. lot of ground to cover and in the end able to get the boundary and they are now starting to accelerate oh, yeah. stumping opportunity here he could be found out of his ground he's given out he's given him another wicket for Bishu after the big partnership. Yeah, never easy uh, for a new batsman to come in uh, and straight away uh, get his act together because uh, it was a, such a long partnership sitting in there with the pads on. And it's uh, Bishu who's uh, done the trick. No problems, uh, very much a legal delivery. It's a turn that's it. And good work behind this, Tom Zabai, I hope. 
regulation stumping. So Shabir goes for three, 221 for three Bangladesh. Mushfikur, former captain, one of the long-time servants of Bangladesh cricket, comes to the middle. Decent average, but needs to accelerate. There's no time to poke around. Starts with the reverse. Earns himself a couple of runs. Yeah, he'll be taking a few more chances here. The outside edge will help. But if you think about it, if you've got a partnership of 208 in the course of your innings and you finish up at 250 or thereabouts, you really haven't done your, you've done your job. You really haven't done the job to the best of your ability. He's trying that now. And we'll get four more. Why weren't they doing this with a great, great deal of adventure earlier on? 48 overs gone, 236 for three. That's a good heave from the little man with the wind. And the positivity, the power, the aggression should have been seen a lot earlier and a lot more from Bangladesh. That's a very good shot. He's uh, picked that up very nicely and hit that uh, way over the top. Just out of reach of the diving gale, or at least the leaping gale. Put in the effort. Well, he's decided to come across for it and will make something of it. Gets four more. This is important here from Mushfikur. Yeah, he's not happy. He's just nodding his head that that was certainly a wide, but then he plays a very good-looking shot. And he just needs to concentrate on hitting the boundaries because he's picked up uh, another one here. That's a very good shot down on his knees, made some room and then crash it through the cover area. Top shot. And you can see that he's looking to play big shots, looking to pick up boundaries. Already a four and a six for him. Six more, that's even bigger than earlier in the over. That's what Bangladesh needed. 250 comes up. 18 runs from the over so far. Just an example of what a difference it can make. Put the bowler under pressure. Don't just allow him to settle down to that nice line and length. Take him on. Yeah, it was in the slot. And he put that away beautifully. Back past him for four more. Biggest over of the innings. One over left. 22 runs from the over. 258 for three. Russell taken over the top by Tamim. Six more. It's a run riot towards the end. And it just seems so explosive because how quiet it would have been comparatively. Russell starting the innings, he finishes the innings and begins the over with a full toss. You're presenting the full face of the bat, you still have to put it away. And he's done, done that in a good style. Tamim Iqbal hit that all the way for a six. So it's a good little period for Bangladesh now. 22 in the last over, six of the first delivery of this over. Again up in the air. It's gone many a mile, it's gone into their stands. Six more. And this is why you'll feel even more 
as a Bangladesh supporter or a supporter of cricket generally. This should be approaching 320 instead of thinking in terms of 280, 290 at the very least. But it's runs on the board already. Bangladesh have some quality bowling. We'll have to settle on the single this time. What a knock. Uh, what a gem if a knock. The Mushfiq Rahim is playing for his team. 26 of just nine. This has really been a superb knock by Mushfikur and emphasizes just what a quality player he is in these sorts of conditions. He's a diminutive player. He knows how to find those gaps, opening the face of the bat. Yeah, I, I thought he should have batted number three with uh, not too many overs to be bowled when he came on to bat. They sent Shabir Rahman earlier on, but the way he has batted, he surely deserves to bat ahead of Shabir Rahman. That is uh, another cracking shot. Four more. Three fours and two sixes uh, already for Mushfiq. Taken. Good catch by Bishu going to his left. But he's played superbly. Mushfikur, 30 of 11 balls. Bishu back in the action. Two wickets to him, the catch taken. But just giving Bangladesh a bit of momentum towards the end. Yeah, could easily gone, gone away from the field and gone for another boundary. Very good catch. Finally, they've dropped a, a few out today. This time around, Bishu takes a very good one to send back a dangerous looking Mushfiq Rahim. 30 of 11, Bangladesh 275 for four. New batsman is Mahmudullah. Last ball of the innings. Andre Russell. Helps it away nicely to finish off the innings well. Bangladesh's highest total against the West Indies in the West Indies in one day internationals. 43 runs have come off the last couple of overs and Bangladesh finish up on 279 for four. A good innings from Bangladesh. They finished on 279 for 430 for Tamim Mikbal, and he had a 207 run partnership with Shakib, which really was the foundation and the finishing touches put in by Mushfiku Rahim with 30 from just 11 deliveries at the end. I suppose the story for the Windies was that they didn't get wickets uh, in the middle of the innings and they were a little bit tardy in the last couple of overs as well. So the target for the Windies, 280 to win from their 50 overs. We'll take a short break and when we come back, we will have all the action from uh, the Windies innings. depend on the kind of start the West Indies get chasing this total. You see it's 2300s, 4850s. David Newton Lewis in terms of Chris Scale relatively new on the scene. Not got a thousand runs yet, but he's got two hundreds. something that Evan Lewis is very well known for just give him that little bit of back of a length and he's into it in a flash nice sweep shot oh that's four did he take this off the line of the stumps a little grimace and smile from Hedy I do believe he did. He hit it hard, but timed it so well. Yeah. This will 
goal and win the race. So Chris Gale picks up a boundary. That should make him feel a bit better. Just got it fine of the man at short third man. It looks as though it might have been a deliberate opening of the face, exaggerated after contact as well. No slip. That's not good. They usually expect much better of themselves. Yeah, Mamadoula cannot believe that's what his uh, teammate has done. Just as Mehdi was building pressure nicely. Oh, it's a regulation stop in the field. Easily taken. What wonderful control and variety from Mushrafi Mortaza. He has stifled this opening partnership and now he's reaped the rewards. Yes, he's kept the pressure on. Neither batsman has really had the measure of him and Evan Lewis going for too much. Miscues, it wasn't up there for the drive, it miscues. And uh, Mamadula at mid off takes a simple catch. And Bangladesh have struck. Westin is lose their first wicket. Evan Lewis gone for 17. It's 27 for 1. Shea Hope comes at 3. And uh, is the 34th ODI, averaging 38. But look at the strike rate. Look at the middle row and the right-hand column. Strike rate of under 67. In fact, he has to grow that. He, he's talented, but he has to grow that. And he's aware of it, I'm sure. There you go. Smacks it down the ground for a big six. That's what he is capable of. He's muscled it through. Dark and stormy. Ready to rock and roll, possibly, here in match one. As mentioned, he does take his time to settle in, whether it's T20 or 50 over stuff. He's happy to take his time, and all of a sudden, he plays catch-up so, so quickly. Classic Gale, straight back down the ground for the whole lot. Oh, that's a big shout, yeah, Joe Wilson says, I like the look at this one, first up from you, Rubel. Yes, Did look pretty adjacent, and Gail says, Shay, don't bother, that's dead, boy. Well, it certainly missed out uh, on uh, Chris Gale, but uh, have a look at this, uh, Rubel Hussain coming into the bowl, his very first over, first delivery, and on target. Boom, that would have gone on to hit the stumps. Straight away, the umpire had no hesitation whatsoever. So, Rubel, success with the very first delivery. Shay Hope, gone for six. Wendy's 41 for two. Well, they're two down now, are the Wendy's. Shimron Hitmeyer, a handful of matches for this young fellow. Happy to take one. Try and keep things moving here now. 50 up for the home side. Short, pulled away. Not the right length. Gets to treatment. And it's just the difference. You're slightly off with your length, as we saw with that Evan Lewis pickup swivel against Mortaza. We've got Hitmar up against Rubel. They're fractionally short. That's all it is, just a little. And again, you see that Calypso swivel. So he loses his balance just subtly. Total control there. Goes over the top dismissively. 
And that's what happens. The longer Gale stays out there, he becomes a greater and greater danger to the opposition. Need to get rid of him at all costs. This one is right in his wheelhouse. And just deposited over long off. He's been very, very patient. Hasn't been given much pace to work with. And they'll get a couple here. They might. It might even go all the way. We'll need to check if that was pulled back while the player was in contact with the boundary. I would think. Contact with it now, and looks to be okay. Chris Gale is in trouble, and he's out. Total miscommunication, and what was a patiently planned innings comes to an end. And that will be extremely disappointing for Gale because he was clearly building towards something far more significant. Whether or not he made the call loud enough for Hetmeyer seemed to be suggesting that he didn't hear anything, but the end result was that he was past the point of no return. And even though it wasn't the best of throws, there was more than enough time to effect the run out. Masadek Hussain onto the stumps. And Gale, just having a word with the young man, whatever those words were, won't make a difference because he's gone. Gale departs, a critical blow. For 40, it's 81 for three. When you look at the comparative scores as they come back for two, at a very similar stage, Bangladesh were only two runs ahead. Another couple of runs it should be. Shot. Oh, he looks a player, Shimron Hetmeyer. Everything about him and his, his shot selection has been more judicious in this season for me. Oh, a pitched and uh, put away in style. What a lovely shot this is. Beautifully played. Anything down the ground is so pleasing to watch, especially if it's on the onside. Wow. Understands these conditions. To some extent, lovely shot. Lovely shot from a Hetmeyer brings up the hundred for the Windies. 103 for three. That is the end of Mohammed and Mahedi Hassan does the business. Quite easy for Mushfikur behind the stumps. Pressure built, wicket taken. Clever piece of bowling. Didn't turn back into the right hand I just thought it held its line and maybe moved away beautifully bold from Mehdi Hassan no problems for Mushfiqur Rahim gone and then 11 for 4 the Wendy's captain Jason Holder at the crease a, a busy player in, in good form Oh, lovely shot. Well commentated upon by Mushfiqur Rahim. He said, big shot coming before the ball was bowled. Big shot came four. Well, he says, certainly played some very good shot. Again, uh, down the pitch, making some room. It was a mid-off there, but had no chance whatsoever. It went like a rocket. Very good piece of timing. He's looking good.
rather not playing it but scoring off it and there are four more reasons why ah uh, yes another reason for this young man to uh, prove his worth he's one away from a half century very attractive there at Sabina at an 86 Century to young Hetmeyer. Well done. A unique way of saluting the play. Oh, he's played well. He's played very well. He's on the charge and gone. Couldn't control it. And suddenly, there's the fifth one down here. Premeditated and just couldn't get hold of it looking to hit it straight down the ground out a half of the bat and uh, he goes he's played well Shimran Hetmeyer goes for 52 it's 141 for five 141 for five is one of the smashing dashes from Jamaica Rodman Powell does hit it hard and long when he gets in and gets going and the fizz hunting more oh what a peach he's nicked the first one what a gem to get first up bounce the angle and look at the smiles running close to the stumps that time Mustafa Fizur. just look how close he gets to the stumps and uh, just going across Powell gets him to reach for it with the hands healthy edge and no problem at all for Mushfikur so he goes without scoring Rothman Powell it's 141 for six hangs it in and Rubel Hussain has got a bit of work to do but he gets there smartly and reduces it to one. A big he. Captain V. Captain. It's gone all the way. Six to Jason Holder. 150 up in style. Well, let's hope for the West Indies this starts a little momentum. We don't have a whole lot now. Pulls this one down. Mataza and uh, Holder getting the use of his arms. Oh, he's at the straight up, should be out, is he out? Yes, a comfortable catch. Lovely change of pace, and he changed the line. Did Mortasa to get rid of his opposite? Well, we've seen a lot of this from Mortaza. Changes his pace nicely. And gets Jason Holder into the shot too early. Just lobs it up to mid-off. It is slow delivery. Holder into the shot, bit too early. And maybe just trying to tug across it as, as, as well. And Saika takes a simple catch. So the seventh wicket goes down for the West Indies. Jason Holder goes for 17. It's 151 for seven. Oh, what a shot. It's teed off. Huge. Right on the top. What a shot! Uh, take some time to find that one. Well, if you can connect with a few more of those, you might just yet keep it interesting. Andre Russell went for 62 runs in his nine overs on his return to one day international cricket. But he's such a powerful man. I don't think he was in any position to play that shot the way he did. 
Well, that one has uh, nearly taken uh, the, the non-striker and the umpire. That is blasted away for another boundary, so he's uh, certainly showing what uh, he wants to do in the middle. Ten of two. Well, everybody at this end was on the firing line. The non-striker, the umpire, the bowler. They all had to get out of the way as quickly as possible. Again, that flashing blade. Up in the air. Should be taken. It's taken. It's Mashavi Murtaza, who's uh, picked up yet another wicket. Captain Fantastic has been doing a fantastic job for his team. And once again, he picks up the danger man. Russell gone. Clever bowling, clever bowling. Change of pace, variations, and you can see the intensity from Mashrafi himself. With that wicket, again, the big heave from Andre Russell. He knew immediately that he'd miscued and well judged here by Mahmoud Allah, mindful of the boundary just behind him, settling under it, taking it comfortably and essentially putting the final nail in the West Indies coffin for this match, even with two wickets still to take. Russell for 13, it's 163 for eight. Couple of runs. Again, they should be taken. Slower delivery. Mahmoudullah coming in. He takes it. Wicket number four for the skipper. He's having a ball with the ball. It's almost too easy now for him. They're wrapping things up pretty quickly here. And the West Indies folding after so much promise early on. The cleverness, the varieties of Mashrafi Murtaza and again the safe pair of hands from Mahmoud Allah and the two big high fives from the little Mushfiku Rahim marks the end of Ashley Nurse gone for seven 172 for nine finishes up with the boundary very good spell, fantastic spell uh, from the captain himself. 4 for 37, and it's uh, 177 for 9. How was that? He's gone upstairs. Hi, AJ, we've got a got to, uh, umpire review for uh, stumping. Okay, we've got a fair delivery. If we can have a look at your best side on shot, please. That's good. Uh, you can load not out. Good hit, good strike for six. A few fans who are left here at Providence will enjoy that in support of the West Indies. Very good follow through. Picked the lid very nicely and then hits it over long on for another six. Another big hit, another six. Lots of height, maybe not as much distance, but onto the seats where it matters. Ending the over 199 for nine. A oh, shot. Very good shot. We saw him uh, picking up a couple of sixes in the previous over. And that is a pretty good shot to pick up a boundary. He strikes the ball well. Eyes on the ball all the way through. Back past the bowler. Joel Wilson getting out of the way. Dropped it. And that will please the captain. Not at all. Very uncharacteristic of the way 
Bangladesh have fielded today. You would expect this to be taken. It was hit pretty hard. But going straight to the fielder, you'd expect that to be taken. Would have been a nice way to finish this game off. Struck that nicely, should get a couple. Oh, he's get, he gets four. That was crisply struck by Bishu. Yes, that was straight out of the middle. That's hit hard. Great shot from Devendra Beshu. 228 for nine. Victory for Bangladesh in this opening ODI, courtesy of him. He's led them well. Mortaza runs on the board, an important decision at the toss. And the bowlers have backed it up superbly Bangladesh win this opening ODI by 48 runs here in Providence the Windies falling short they finished on 231 for nine number of batsmen getting starts no one able to kick on big 40 to Gale 52 to Shimron Hetmeyer and a couple of 29s at the back end between Bishu and Joseph but too little too late Bangladesh was splendid the captain setting the example and the tone four for 37 for Mortaza Mustafizu finished with two wickets as well good to see him back and a couple of wickets shared between Mehdi Hassan and Rubel Hussain.